How to find the area of a sector, a math lesson from your friends at Magoosh. A group of very hungry students is gathered after school at Magoosh Pies, the tastiest pizza joint in town. Magoosh Pie sells pizza by the slice. Regular slices are from 12 inch diameter pizza cut into six equal slices. And mega slices are from a 16 inch diameter pizza cut into eight equal slices. Magoosh Pies is currently running a special. Three regular slices cost the same as two mega slices. Since these are just some poor high school kids who want to get the most bang for their buck, should each student buy three regular slices or two mega slices to get the most pizza in his or her belly? Before we try to solve this word problem, let's take a look at some simpler examples. The formula for the area of a circle is A equal pi r squared. A sector is what we call a portion of the circle. Or in other words, a sector is a fraction of a circle. So if we want to find the area of a sector, or of a slice of pizza, we need to know what fraction it is of the entire circle. Let's start with something easy. This sector here has a central angle of 90 degrees. Since every circle has 360 degrees, that means that this sector is one quarter of the area of the circle. So in order to find the area of this sector, we first need to find the area of the circle, and then it's easy. All we need to do is figure out what one-fourth of that area is. Our circle has a radius of 4, and using the formula for the area of a circle, a equals pi r squared, we can determine that the area of the circle would be pi times 4 squared, simplified to 16 pi. Now to find the area of the sector, we can multiply 1 fourth times 16 pi and determine that the area of our sector is 4 pi. Now, let's try a slightly more difficult fraction. Let's say that the central angle of our sector is 30 degrees. Our area of the circle with a radius of 4, again, is 16 pi. So to find the area of the sector, we can simply multiply the area by the fraction of the central angle measurement over the total degrees in the circle. So our answer then is 4 thirds pi. Note that we don't need to simplify the fraction first, 30 over 360. It's all just getting multiplied in anyway. Now let's go back to our pizza problem. Would each student get more pizza from three regular slices or from two mega slices? The 12 inch regular pie is cut into six slices with three slices for each student. And the 16 inch mega pie is cut into eight slices with two slices for each student. So let's start by figuring out the area of each pizza and then determine the fraction of the area of each pizza a student would get. Let's start with the regular pie. The diameter of the regular pie is 12 inches, which means that the radius is 6 inches. Be careful not to plug in 12 for the radius. This is one of the number one mistakes a student makes when a problem gives diameter and not radius. So that means then that the total area of the pizza is 36 pi. The pizza is cut up into six portions. This means that each slice is one-sixth of the pizza. So if a student gets three slices, this means they get three-sixths of the pizza, or one-half. So we take one-half of 36 pi, and we get 18 pi. Now let's move on to the mega pie. The diameter of the mega pie is 16 inches, which means that the radius is eight inches, which makes the total area of the pizza pi times eight squared, or 64 pi. There are eight slices in the mega pie, which means that the area of each slice is 1 eighth of 64 pi. If a student gets two slices, this means they get 2 eighth, or 1 fourth, of the pizza. And 1 fourth of 64 pi is 16 pi. So this means that in order to get the most pizza for their money, each student should select three slices of the smaller pizza rather than two slices of the larger pizza. For more helpful test prep strategies, hints, and tips for the ACT and SAT, come visit us at www.magoosh.com. Created using Powtoon.